Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Let's start. First, let's shuffle four times the deck. Let's start with uh, what may have happened in the past, so you better know if this is your reading. A person that may have took so much time to think about commitment. Maybe they were not quite serious and feared uh, commitment or wanted... They may have wanted only something casual and not serious. They may have not been the committed type of person. And they may have told you that they needed more time to think about this. And it didn't go anywhere. Now let's see about your current energies. The Magician in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. You may be in a quite stressful position at this moment thinking a lot about what happened in the past and thinking about this communication that you need so much. You need this person to contact you, to have a clear and honest conversation with you. For some I am getting that maybe in the near past there was some rapid communication, something that may have happened and it led you to lots of thinking, anxiety, and uh, confusion. Now let's see what may be affecting you in your subconscious. The fact that they are not giving attention to you, that maybe they were in the connection just for the ego and uh, not for the love. Maybe they didn't have much affection. Now let's see uh, how do you view the situation. Uh, with them. How do you view the situation with them? You think one day they will send a message and that message maybe mostly consists on them wanting to remain friends or save the friendship. So you are expecting a message from them but you don't expect uh, uh, much more than a friendly message. So you don't expect more than a friendly message from this person. You are not sure about a reconnection. Now let's see what. Uh, let's see more details about the hopes and fears. Yes, your hope is for a reconnection, a friendly reconnection with this person. And what you fear is that maybe they gave up completely and they may not return any day to you and talk and have that conversation of clarity that you so much need. Now let's see what is the overall energy for April for you Aquarius. Ten of Cups. Let's see why the Ten of Cups. It is a very good card to have. King of Pentacles. Now I don't know if this is this past person we are talking about or a new person but I think that uh, there's so much potential in April for you Aquarius maybe you will commit finally to the right person and there's so much potential to build something long-lasting and happy together maybe this is a new person maybe this is uh, the past person but let's see is this a new person or the past person? New or past? Seven of Swords. The person that may have been avoiding you. Uh, the per this person may have been avoiding you and uh, there's a high chance that at least one partner will make declarations of, of a long-term commitment, of wanting to share the life together with the other person. And maybe there will be commitment there. There's so much chance to be in a committed relationship with this person. Maybe a 
a water or earth sign. So Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, or Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, but I have air at the same time. This person may have lied to you in the past, if this is the past person. But let's see more details about them. Let's see, what is their energy towards you? The Magician in the reverse. That's what I'm getting. Uh, because I got at the beginning of this reading, the Magician in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. And it means that this person was not quite true and honest towards you during the relationship. May have, they may have been a manipulator, they may have lied to you, and then they avoided you. But there's a high chance you can, you may commit to them, or they may make those uh, declarations of love towards you. Let's see, will they take actions? What actions will they take? And why the moon in the reverse? Ten of Pentacles. Here it is again, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This person will reveal everything, will reveal their feelings to you. All those secret feelings and thoughts they had. And it is about commitment. They want to build a long-lasting relationship with you. Let's see more details about their possible actions. Three of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Swords again. It may have been a third party situation or this person was interested in dating other people and then they avoided, cheated or lied to you unfortunately but now they want to tell you the truth. So what I'm guessing here is that this person may tell you that they lied, they were not honest uh, to you but now they have understood what a big mistake they did make and now they want... Uh, to commit to you. They want to share their life with you. They want to make a happy relationship again. They want to create uh, and make a happy relationship again. And this is coming from a person that may have not been quite honest to you before. I will continue this reading now with more details. So in the extended, I will view how does your person feel now? How do they view you? What are their intentions and the energies of you, them and the connection? So I want to see deeper here and cover all those four topics. If you want to watch the extended of this video with all those topics, you can find the extended in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.